So if you think about uh, when, when you were in school, you know, what, what would it have meant as a seventh, eighth grader or, or, or even a high school senior that somebody pulls up towing a smoker behind a truck and they, and they, and they serve barbecue in the yard at the school? 1991, we took over um, an existing business and branded it a 50s themed diner. I learned a lot from that. It's proven to be a great source of inspiration for what I do now. Uh, we're a large school district with the 44th largest school district in the country. The largest one in South Carolina by almost twice the size of the next largest. So I oversee the district's food, nutrition, services programs. We provide meals to the 77,000 students here in Greenville County. If you talk to folks like that throughout the country and you ask them about school food service, one of the things that will come to mind is that that's a challenge for a lot of schools. It is a challenge. Our food service operation operates much as you would imagine an independent business operates as far as its financial structure. It does not take resources away from the operation of schools and the instructional services to students. We focus a lot on training. Um, because of some of the some of the people that come to work for us really don't come from a food background. Not all of our staffs really understood that running a cafeteria is just like running a business. Um, so one of the first things we did was teach our people how to manage their costs and how to how to run their cafeterias like we would run a, a restaurant out in the real world. Once we did that, we reduced our labor and food costs tremendously. Yeah, so he just fosters a really good environment for a, a workplace. I, I think a lot of times um, I've referred to him as a visionary or maybe you know, you could say he stat challenges the status quo frequently. Early on when we were trying to change it into a, a more progressive school program, little by little we started changing products and introducing higher quality products. And so you're going to see all this almost constant social media presence. So he's going to build a demand for the healthy meals we serve. We weren't reaching probably the what we feel are the, are the greatest of need of our students in the summer. So these, these food trucks find them. They find these deserts in the summer where the students are, are not filling their nutrition gap, we're, we're meeting them there. Seeing us make a difference in the lives of students every day, um, understanding that the work we do prepares them for success in a classroom, for me I think that that's probably one of the things that brings me the most joy, um, knowing that the work we do are helping kids prepare for success. Thank you.